One of the problems with kitchen sinks is if the flow rate is too great, you get a lot of splash back. It's a waste of water. Often you just want to rinse something. So the answer is a pressure reduction valve. How much does it reduce the flow? Let's find out. Uh, that's 41 seconds. That's a flow rate, nine litres of about 13 and a half litres a minute. So now we're going to add the pressure reduction washer and see what it brings it down to. Okay, that's a 50% reduction in flow rate. It's still a manageable, workable flow. In fact, it doesn't splash around anymore. Perfect for rinsing the vegetables and anything else you need to do. It'll take a little bit longer to fill the kettle, but who cares? We're gonna save a lot of water over a year. Yeah, well, that's far too much water. We tested this one at about 36 litres a minute. Now, this spout we can't fit a saver to, so we're gonna change the whole spout. Before you undertake any plumbing, make sure you have everything you need to finish the job. The old outlet had no aerator and was really the wrong size for the trough. So, when we turned the tap on, we wasted a significant amount of water. The new outlet has a built-in aerator, so the flow will be reduced and we will save lots of water. It's worth checking every tap in the house and, where possible, use aerators or pressure reduction washers to reduce the flow rate. Apart from saving water, you'll also save lots of money. There we go, that's much better. This spout's rated at eight litres a minute. That's a saving of about 75%. It's worth doing.